My dear one, I know this is a shock, but you always knew I was special, didn't you? Every time I rubbed against your leg, it was because I wanted to be closer. Now that I have a voice, and these hands, I can finally show you exactly how much I love you. No more simple purrs, my love. Just me. The winter is coming. Bring steel and fire. The dead march with the cold. We stand together, or we perish alone. Hello everyone, this is Fervo. Recently, Queen Emilia did 2509 community was on the trendy news again. New laws are released one after another. In the new laws, I found an interesting law, animal to human avatar law. Combined with other laws and infinite talk, I found it quite fun to play with. So I decided to share it with you. Big thanks to those great creators. And as always, I built up some ready to use workflows for you to use this new lore. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the whole process of creating the videos step by step and share some personal tips with you. Make sure you watch the whole video just not to miss anything. Let's take a quick look at the new laws first and then go through the workflows and examples in detail. This is the Animal to Human Avatar lore. From its intro page, you can see it is capable of turning the pets into human avatars while keeping the main characteristics of the pets. The author didn't put much info here, <laughs> like you can see. So I spent a lot of time and tried various settings and prompts to, to recreate what the author shows on the demos. After that, on a whim, I start to try combining this one with other video generation technologies like the infinite talk, the first and last frame generation. Finally got a way to put them together into a complete pipeline. Other laws used in this workflow are animate to realism lore and anything to real lore, as you can see here. This one we talked about it before in the previous video. This one is new, just released a few days ago from situation. Now let me run through the workflow and share my findings. If you are new to GameFUI, please install GameFUI to your local PC first, if you have a capable GPU and enough system memory. Use a detailed installation guide, just follow this guide to install GameFUI. Or you could run GameFUI on the cloud computer, like this. On the cloud computer, you don't need to install or set up anything, just click and run. Also free. And if you are not comfortable with this workflow thing and the GameFUI thing, I also have made this workflow into an AI app, like this one here. All you need to do is just open the link and upload the image, your pet image or any animal image. Then upload a clip of audio, set up resolution, write some prompts, and then click run. Done. I will provide all the related links in the video description below. After the installation style your GameFUI, you will see a panel like this. Open the workflow I provided, the Animal to Human workflow. Just drag the workflow to the GameFUI workspace, like this. Drag and release. GameFUI will open the workflow for you automatically. If you encounter any missing custom notes when opening the workflow, just click the manager and then click Install Missing Custom Notes. GameFUI will install all the missing custom nodes for you. After the installation, just restart your GameFUI and then refresh this page. If you haven't downloaded the model files needed in this workflow, just follow the instructions in this note, this note and this note. Open the links and find the models with the same name as shown in the workflow, like this one here. And download them to the specified place. The specified place like this one here. After downloading all the model files, remember to press the R key on your keyboard. This way it will hard load the model files you just downloaded into GameFUI so you can select them in the drop down list like this without restarting your GameFUI. Save some time. Back to the workflow. The core idea of this workflow is to use the animal to human avatar lore and use the anime to realism lore to make the pets into a real human and then use infant talk to make the human talk. 
During the process, some other technologies also involved, like the first and last frame video generation and the voice cloning. These are optional, but I will walk you through these workflows later in the video, just in case you might also need them. The animal to talking human workflow you see here is not so complicated as it might look. The first two groups above are for transforming the pet image to a real human. This group and this group. I use the new LoRa's here, this one, Animal to Human Avatar LoRa, to turn the pet image to a human avatar. And here is the Anime to Realism LoRa and Anything to Real LoRa, to transform the human avatar image into a real human. With this true group, you can turn any pet image into a real human. And then on the right is the first and the last frame video generation. To generate a transition video from the pet image to a real human, like this, you can see. From the pet image, this is the pet image, and this is the human generated here. The group below is for making your pets talk. A standard infinite talk that can turn an image into a talking video based on the audio clip you provided here with lip sync. Using the real human image generated in the previous group, you can see this real human image is passed to this node. And the last group is to put the transition video generated here and the talking video here together into a smooth video from the pet image transforming to a human and then the human starts talking. So basically this is how this workflow works. Now let's dive deeper into the details of the workflow. Start from the above. As we said before, these two are standard Queen image edit workflows. I added DGUF support here and the AIO uncensored model. Since I found this animal to human avatar LoRa and the animal to realism LoRa also work quite good with the Queen Image Edit uncensored model, like you can see here. Here's a test I made. The quality and the aesthetics are unexpectedly good. If you want something not so ordinary, you could try this uncensored model with this new LoRa. Just link the model to the set node here, like this. And then the workflow will use this uncensored model. And for the GGUF model, if you have a GPU with low VRAM, you can use this one. Just link it before the lower and then link it back, like this. The workflow will use the GGUF model. But to use this GGUF loader node from KJ, you need to install both KJ nodes and this GGUF node, or else you will not be able to use this node. Using this node has some advantages. You can set the attention mode. If you have a Sage Attention installed, you can use Sage Attention. It will speed up the process very, very much. But if you don't, just use the SDBA or use none. The other parts pay attention to the prompt and the seed. Here's the prompt part. You can add other details you want into this prompt. And uh, here's the seed. If you are not satisfied with the result, you could use a random seed or another seed to regenerate it. Different seeds will generate slightly different results. Other parts, uh, you don't need to touch them unless you know what you're doing. And on the right is animate realism. To this point, some of you might ask, why not just use the Queen Image Edit to transform the animal to a real human directly? Yes, I thought about it, and I tried. Not working so well. How to keep the characteristics of the animals? So I add this another group, just to transform the avatar to a real human. Here you could use the Animal to Realism LoRa, or anything to real LoRa. If one doesn't work well, try another one. Or you could use both of them. I tried. It works quite well when changing the two lower. And here's the first and last frame generation to transform the pet image to this real human. Also the same. The only two things you need to change is the prompt and the seed. Below is the infinite talk video generation group. Here you need to upload a audio clip. The character generated pre on the previous group will say it with lip sync. You could use a voice clone to generate the audio 
I will show you how later. Or you could use a audio clip of your own. It's up to you. And there are a few things in this group you need to be aware of. First is the resolution set here in this one. If you don't have a powerful GPU, try lower this value or increase this value if you have a very powerful GPU. And the audio crop here. If you want to cut the audio, enable this node and cut it accordingly. If you don't want it, just right click and bypass to disable it. This way, the video length will be the same as the audio length here, as shown here. And the block swap here. If you have a powerful GPU like 5090 or 4090, you could disable this node. Else, if you got it out of memory error, try increase this value until you get rid of the error. And the attention mode here in the model loader. You could set it to Sage Attention if you have it installed. Else, you need to set it to STPA to avoid errors. The shift value in the case sampler, if the motions in the video are too much, try lower this value. It might help. And the prompt back here, if you don't want the repeat pattern of the motions, try use a prompt like this, separate it by a pipe. Each line of prompt is like 5 seconds, so you could change the prompt accordingly, based on your needs. Another tip, if you run this workflow online and don't want the watermark, you could just right click the preview node and save the preview directly. You can see here, if you don't uh, enable this save output option, the output will not have a watermark. So you could just right click and then save the preview. This way the result will not have a watermark. And to other workflows like the voice clone workflow here. Yeah. Very simple. You could just provide a audio for it to clone and provide the text you want to clone. Click run. That's it. You could also adjust the emotions of the voice here. You could set it to hate, angry. It's up to you depending on your needs. But the text to speech installation, the TTS is a bit advanced and kind of hard to install on your local PC. You can go to the note page to see a detailed installation guide. And you can also use like a Flash VSR or Seed VR to, to upscale the videos to a higher quality and a frame interpolation to increase the frame rate to make the video look smoother. Lastly, let's make a recap of the whole process. First, you upload a pad image here and then transform it to a human avatar and then transform the human avatar to a real human and then make a transition video from the pad image to this real human and then use the infinite talk to generate a talking video like this finally you put all the videos generated together concat them together to form a smooth video from the pad image to real human and then the human starts talking this is how this workflow works and it's quite automatically actually. The main things that need your attention are the prompt and the seed and the resolution. Adjust them properly, you could get an acceptable result. And the, each group here in this workflow can also run in, independently. You could disable other groups that you don't want, just use the one you want. But for some groups, you need to link the load image back, like the infinite talk generation. You need to link the load image back to, to replace this get node passed from the previous group. And then upload the audio clip and then click run. You're all set. If you want the whole workflow automatically, just link it back and upload that image and the audio clip. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. If you think it is helpful, please like, share the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See you.